Okay, well, good afternoon is a great matter. So, this whole shit about Kanye West is starting to kind of piss me off. I'm not going to lie. Not because of what Kanye is saying, but because the reaction the internet has to it. And the reaction that these business, you know, random businesses and random um, companies have towards it. Listen, and this is coming from a man who is not very big on social media. In fact, I am completely shadow banned. If you were to try to look up my channel exactly word for word by name or letter for letter by name, you, you wouldn't find it. I am shadow banned on social media. My channel still has a warning on it and it shouldn't. In fact, let me pull this shit up. I still have a warning on my channel for the shit I said in 2020 and 2021. Okay. I went against the WHO. I spoke about the jab and how dangerous it was and how I didn't trust it. I showed, you know, information about the testing you know, how faulty the testing was, so on and so forth. And I've been reported. I've been shadow banned. I've lost subscribers. Facebook tried to delete my entire channel. You know, YouTube still has this warning. They were trying to delete my channel because of guideline strikes. They said it was medical misinformation. And come to find out everything I was trying to warn people about is happening now. You know... The, the liars so far feels like they won, you know. That That is what it is. So you wonder, why am I bringing this shit up when um discussing Kanye? Because Kanye is saying some controversial shit, and some of it I agree with. All right? I haven't heard everything, but when you, like, watch the full dialogue that he had, not just small clips like what they do with um with donald trump or andrew tate even though i don't agree with everything that either one of them do either but some of the stuff they say was the truth okay he was talking about floyd you know who i'm talking about um and the fentanyl overdose that was on the autopsy that's not like you know people are just pulling that out of their ass it was on the autopsy, and knowing Google, they probably made it to where you can't even look that shit up anymore. Because they did that shit with a lot of other stuff. Stuff that I can't even talk about on my channel without risk of losing my entire platform. <clears throat> so, there's that. But back to the reactions of the people and the reactions of the businesses and the reactions of the you know the companies and whatnot it pisses me off because you're essentially trying to destroy a man not just kanye but other people as well trying to destroy them because of what it is that they have to say you don't agree with them. You don't agree with their opinions. So instead of trying to research and look into what it is that they're talking about, you know, gaining, you know, some 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 new form of information and then forming your own opinion or just, you know, ignoring what he has to say. Instead of doing either one of those things, you have to cancel this guy. You have to destroy this man. You have to, you know, talk down to him, talk down about him. You know, companies, you know, trying to, you know, ruin his money, trying to des destroy, you know, break, break bit bridges, you know, burn bridges, you know, destroy business. All of this shit, just because this man said some stuff that you didn't like, people are calling him crazy now. Oh, he's off his meds. He's, he's off this. He's not saying anything any different than what I've heard the next, you know, conservative say. There might be some shit that I haven't heard yet. Feel free to enlighten me. But at the end of the day, destroying a man's career because of his dialogue is weak. Okay? It's very weak. And if you agree with this shit, you're a pussy. I I'm just going to be real here. 
You don't like my language. I don't give a fuck. I am gray matter. I don't care what anyone has to say about what I have to say. Okay. If the roles were reversed, you said something. You were big. You had a lot of money. But I've seen this happen with a lot of conservatives where out of nowhere, PayPal doesn't want to work with them no more. Like they're losing their bank accounts and shit because of their presence on social media. You know, straight CCP shit. If you really want to be technical. Which is where they've been wanting this country to go for the longest. Imagine if you said something that nobody liked. Everybody came against you. Your own family came against you. Had this shit. Your own family came against you. Your own friends came against you, right? Everyone's trying to block your money. You're losing your platform on social media. All right, and then you can't vent to anybody. You can't talk to nobody. Because the moment you say some shit, the first and only thing that they have to say is free speech isn't free. Okay, I'm quoting this. Free speech isn't free. There's consequences to what you have to say. And you just got to deal with it. Even though you're, you're telling the truth or you're trying to stand up for something. And you're just getting hit hard. If the roles were reversed, you would want to kill yourself. I'm just going to be real here. Because people who do this shit and support this cancel culture shit, if it was happening to them, they would want to kill themselves. They would. No question about it. You're not even strong enough to stand out from the crowd. How the fuck am I expected to, you know, how the fuck are he, am I going to expect you to have some balls and courage? And to keep pushing and keep fighting the good fight. Or at least what you believe is the good fight. You know, when you have all this opposition and shit against you. I don't expect, I, I really don't, I really would be surprised. In all honesty. Like. Like, come on, really? He said something I don't like, so he's ruined his career, and I need to, you know, I need to silence him so I can feel comfortable. Even though there's shit that's being said about what I believe and what, you know, I like all the time online. I come across it every fucking day. But you know what I do? Do I report the video? Excuse me. Do I report the video? Do I cry to all my friends and shit? No. You just ignore it and keep fucking moving. That's all you have to do. But instead, and I'm not talking directly at the people who watch my videos either, okay? I'm just letting y'all know that this shit is out there, and I know y'all know this shit. Okay? I thought what you had to say was supposed to be protected, but I guess not. Okay, only one side of the, of the narrative or one side of the dialogue gets, you know, erased from existence. Which is book burning, you know, it is another form of book burning. But, you know, we can't we can't ever like talk about this shit, like genuinely talk about this shit without risking something. Risking the livelihood, getting videos deleted. From YouTube. And this shit is mad fucking annoying. It's mad annoying. Because I'm only seeing this on one side. I'm personally only seeing this on one side. It's like, they, they can fuck off with this, you know. Oh, this ain't true. Or, you know, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Like, a lot of people, they're calling this man a clown. But they haven't came up with any real counter argument. That did not involve emotion. Like, shit. And if he's so damn crazy and he's so damn, you know, delusional and shit, why are you even bothering listening to what he has to say? Why are you even bothering? Like, like, like for example, with me, if I was such a conspiracy theorist and such a danger, you know, such a, you know, a, a dumb person, granted, they thought I was dangerous, but whatever, you know. If I was so stupid and so dumb, 
why the fuck are you even watching my shit? I, I have people who watch my shit just to report me and watch my shit just to comment, you know, garbage in my in my feed. So when y'all, you know, see videos of me talking to those people directly, you're just like, who is he talking to? I've had to delete a lot of comments. Let's just say that. I blocked some folk on my on my own um, Facebook and shit. Because they did nothing but, you know, try to like slander and bring up like 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 we're talking about this subject right here. You're you're on my shit you know, angry and emotional talking about my personal life that has nothing to do with the subject at hand. And they're doing the same shit to Kanye. Now, granted, you know, uh, I know it's going to seem like I'm just defending Kanye or something. You probably might think I'm a huge fan of his music. I'm not really a huge fan of his music. I mean, yes, I know of him because he's a beat producer I make music. My favorite producer, though, is Jay Dilla. You know what I mean? But just any man who's being censored, you know, and having their money, you know, fucked up for trying to trying to help. They're not trying to fucking destroy. Like, they're, they're really trying to just open people's eyes to some shit that they feel needs to be talked about. And you're trying to destroy this man's platform. You're trying to destroy this man's career. You're trying to just destroy him in general. Like, like they compared him to Hitler. Like, who, who the? F it, I didn't see a second Holocaust happen. So what the fuck? You know what I mean? He's not even in a position of power to even pull something like that. Say, say he wanted to so why how the fuck are you going to compare this guy to hitler and then when they do this shit once again you're splicing video i hate when people do that if you're going to bring up something don't just use a small clip show the whole fucking thing there can be a, like a real conversation to be had you know what i mean and that's that's it. It's, I'm I'm through. Uh, yes, I haven't been talking a lot about political shit lately because of the risk to my channel that's been on there for a year, two years now, about to be three years, still hasn't cleared up. Even though I haven't had a violation since then, but whatever. <laughs> 